Mr. Fuji, you were uh, around Mr. Fuji a lot as your manager. Uh, oh, yeah. And obviously king of the ribs, just like Kurt Henning. Yes. Any uh, good Mr. Fuji ribs? Oh, man, he got me so good. <laughs> I mean, he used to get me good, so, I mean... I don't know. I mean, you know, you couldn't rib him. I mean, right. if you it's ribbed him, it was just disrespect and all that kind of stuff. And oh my God, man, he got me one night. Um, you remember the GHB days, yes. right? Well, we still had the powder for him, and this is when it really came dangerous. And you know, uh, people were ODing. You know, and uh, that's what happened to me. Uh, I don't know how it happened, but I remember. All I did was maybe four scoops, and uh, I think I didn't eat for two days, and I did four scoops because I wanted to go to sleep, and I tell you what, it was probably like the worst feeling in the world. I mean, the whole room was spinning, I was just throwing up, and <laughs> Fuji was such an asshole. I remember this so clearly, I was trying to get away from him, and he, what he had did was, you know, I was throwing up so bad and everything, and I had all over my face and my hair and everything. So what he did was, man, he got a thing of soap, and he rubbed it all over his hands, and he's rubbing it in my eyes and my face <laughs> and all over my hair and everything. I was going, what are you doing, man? And I'm throwing up. And you know how miserable you are when you're spinning and you're throwing up, and, you know, it's just awful. And then him rubbing soap in my face and in my eyes, and then he put this bar of soap in my mouth, and you know, <laughs> I'm just gagging, it was awful, man. But uh, man, we did have great times, man. Now here comes Sean and Marty again. Now this is like the third territory that, well, you know, third company that you worked with them. Were Sean and Marty any different here in New York compared yeah. to working uh, with them? I mean, I mean, in the ring wise, never. Um, but, um, I remember they were having problems, you know, between themselves, you know. Oh, yeah. You know, and uh, and that wasn't pleasant at all, you know. I mean, yeah, when you're partners, man, you got to be in sync and you got to you got to be, you know, OK with each other because you got to trust each other out there. You know, that's the biggest thing. Any good Marty stories? Uh, you know, uh, were you on the tour when Marty stole the uh, bus? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was, and uh, oh my God. What happened with that story? Well, the, the driver was a real asshole. And I remember we were messing with Piper, and because uh, Piper was easy to make gag, you know, because we were, you know, doing that, and he just, he stop it, man, stop it. And every time he hear, like that, he'd just start gagging really hard. <laughs> So anyway, we were messing with him, messing with him the whole way. And then uh, I, I, Marty was trying to sleep, and the driver kept hitting the brakes. And, uh, and Marty kept rolling off, and he's going, fuck, I'm going to kill that mug. You know, and uh, oh, my God. So finally, everybody, uh, we stopped to go to the bathroom or whatever, and the bus driver got off. Marty waited till all the guys back on, and the bus driver's slow. He's just taking his time smoking a cigarette, doing this, doing that. And Marty was fucking this man. He took off with the bus, man. How long, how far did he drive? Uh, you know what? I thought it was, I, I you know, it was so bad because, I mean, I, I remember this so clearly him going, uh, what did he say? He said something. He goes, you know what? Fuck that. Mom. We're going all the way to the thing. I go, you don't know where the fuck you're going, man. And, uh, we got pulled over everything. We got, I mean, serious shit for that. Where was this at? Was this overseas? England. Yeah. 